friends. Wasn't there a show that used to start that way? Hello, friends. Offhand, I can't remember, but actually I hear that phrase and it kind of grinds my teeth because it was so annoying. Hello, friends. Anyway, um, I'm home today and I figured I'd vlog a little bit more. Thank you so much for the positive feedback on my last vlog, which I kind of just think I'm, I don't know, silly and a little bit nuts and crazy, but um, apparently I am pure entertainment for you guys. So I'm more than happy to do a little bit more. So I'm home today. I have a little bit of work to do from home a little bit later on. But today is my kind of day to kind of cook for the week and such. So I wanted to show you what I was making. So this is my super awesome crock pot recipe. Now I think I've mentioned before like I can cook. And if I really like invested the time into it I could definitely like um cook really well, but I, I don't really enjoy cooking. I enjoy eating. So anyway, what I wanted to show you was this um, kind of just kind of standard crock pot recipe that I've been doing for a long time. Um, it is a spaghetti squash turkey tomato mix and it's super easy. All you do is put in, I put in a couple cans of diced tomatoes. Um, I brown some ground turkey and then throw that in the pot. I add some basil, oregano, garlic, salt and pepper. There's onions and olives in there. There's also a little bit of lentils. Um, and it's like major good. And this crock pot will like last for a couple meals for sure. What's so great about it is that you get to be able to work with spaghetti squash. That's that kind of squash, looks like butternut squash, but when you open it and crack it open, you can take your fork and it like shreds like spaghetti. It's awesome. You could kind of actually fool your brain and your body into thinking that you're eating actual spaghetti, especially when you put like a tomato sauce kind of mix on top of it. It's pretty fabulous. Low carb, healthy, yes. And plus what's so cool about putting it in the crock pot, which is something I didn't always know, like a spaghetti squash is like super hard and it's like violent to try to like crack it open or cut the ends off if you're going to steam it or something. When you put it in the crock pot, what's so cool is you don't even have to cut it. The only thing you have to do is just wash it because obviously you're going to be putting it in your pot, but you just wash it. You put it in the crock pot stem and all the whole thing. You put it on high for like, I usually overdo it. I do like five or six hours. When you're done, you can literally crack the shell like with your finger. Like you can actually poke it with your finger, which you can't normally do like because the thing is like hard as a rock. And so I've been making it like weeks and weeks in a row and my husband really likes it. So that's really cool. I don't know if you noticed in my crock pot, um, what was missing was actually the spaghetti squash. Um, yeah, that's because it's still at the store. I had bought a couple at one time and I thought I still had more in reserve and I don't. So right now, this is the non spaghetti squash crock pot recipe for the week. I'm too lazy to go to the store right now because there's like 50 mile an hour winds outside right now. And I don't really think it's all that critical and important to my life to make an emergency trip to the grocery store for a spaghetti squash. But I promise you when the spaghetti squash is in there, it's pretty awesome. So I also wanted to show you that I um, went to the store yesterday. I happened to go to Kohl's. My husband was looking for some like sneakers and stuff and I have a beachy theme bathroom which I have just entered and which I love um because I don't get to the beach very often so I figure I'll just find it in my bathroom I don't know what inspired my beachy theme bathroom was this wait let me show you was that kind of um glass block wall that's right there I was just like that's so light and airy and it just allows a whole bunch of like light in and it just seemed like a very light and airy sort of a situation and I've clearly accentuated it with um I think I got this at Home Goods and Home Goods and that I got in Hawaii and that I got in Hawaii and that I got in Hawaii that's a turtle I live for turtles um and this I got at um Pampered Chef I believe, pamper, not Pampered Chef, um, that candle one that they used to have. Eee! What was that candle party that everybody used to go to? It wasn't Pampered Chef, but it was the other one that was popular right around that time. Um, so what I wanted to show you by bringing you into my beach themed bathroom was that I went to Kohl's the other day. They were having like a major sale on beachy theme items. So I got this beautiful 
Sorry, the backlighting's not perfect, but well, there we go. I got this beautiful um, multicolored blue candle with a little um, starfish on it. Probably fake, but cute nonetheless. I also got um, a really pretty frame. Same idea with a little starfish on it, which I just love the kind of bluish sort of colors. Um, I have a blue, I guess I'm going to give you a tour of my beachy themed bathroom. I've got a blue little light up there. Um, I've got this awesome picture of two whales that are kind of nuzzling up against each other. Taken by a whale company, um, whale watch company in Friday Harbor where I used to live. It's actually like a legit snuggling of some orcas and, uh, Mount Baker is in the background. Um, I've got this other picture, I'm too short, it's really tall, which has one of my favorite quotes on it. It says that the cure for anything is salt water, sweat, tears, or the sea. It's a little bit more, there's me in my jammy pants, hi. <laughs> um, that's a picture of my husband and I from Maui with a hand carved from a tree or something, at least that's what we believe them to be telling us. Um, wood frame um, and a turtle which was what I swam with when I was in Hawaii. Hold on a minute. I actually got to swim with turtles in Hawaii. I don't know if that's ever come up in conversation. I don't think so. But you actually can like go in the ocean, like naturally, like not at like, um, not a pre-arranged pay for it sort of deal. You go to a, uh, this was on Maui, and you can actually go in the ocean and randomly turtles will be swimming like near the shore. So we had gone a couple of times. In fact, I had gone to Hawaii once a couple of years ago and tried to swim with the turtles and didn't find any because it's just totally random. And then we went this last time, which was I think about a year ago. So we had tried a couple of times, gone in the ocean, didn't find anybody. And then the, one of the last, well, it was one of the last times because I actually found a turtle. Where My husband and I are swimming. We had the snorkel equipment. And all of a sudden he grabs me by the foot because I'm like a faster swimmer than him. And he grabs me from behind. I'm like, WTF, what are you doing breaking my rhythm here? I'm like on a, on a torpedo line to try to find a turtle. And he points behind him and there is a massive turtle in the water. Like right there in the water. And I'm like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm in the water and I'm like thinking to myself, I'm like, hi, you're a turtle. <laughs> Like, what are you doing right here? Like, every time I've gone to Jones Beach in New York or whatever, like, there have been no turtles. And I'm just like, there is this massive, he was huge. I mean, I don't even, I don't even know how much does a massive, like, live turtle, like, ocean turtle weigh. I have no idea. But he was huge. And he and I swam next to each other as we were, like, going along the shoreline. He's swimming like, like this. Like, he's a not really going that fast. And I'm like trying to keep up like his like arms. Are they arms? What do you call them? Fins? Do they have fins? No, but they walk on them. Well, anyway, his arms are like major for swimming and I'm like trying to keep up with him. And then I even got so bold as to kind of get in front of him. I swam up in front of him and he just was kind of swimming right at me. It was the most amazing experience, probably because it was also like natural and like wasn't arranged. Um, and I have to tell you, I have to confess, you're not supposed to bother the turtles. Um, when he wasn't looking, I like, I touched his outer shell. I just like, I just touched it just a little bit because I couldn't help it. It was like right there. And I'm like, what is a ro what does a live turtle feel like? And I touched it and I probably shouldn't have, but you're not supposed to bother them. He had no idea that I was poking him on his shell. But anyway, <laughs> clearly I digress from showing you my bathroom themed, uh, my beach themed bathroom. So let me spin you around again. So that is kind of the actual size of one of those little turtle guys. And I mean, he just, he was amazing. And so anyway, where I was going with all of this was I got some other things from Kohl's. Check this little thing out. This is like this fake looking driftwood sort of situation and I put, like a little blue cup in there or whatever. But I just thought, how freaking cute is that? Oh yeah, and today I've been masking. Oh my gosh, I think I've mentioned this before. This is by Bosha. This is their charcoal pour pudding mask. Oh my goodness, it's hilarious. Here, wait, let me, I don't, I don't think I can get it open. Oh. So this is what it looks like inside and it's just a charcoal mask because I have been on a mission lately to clean out my pores. You know, they always say that like, it doesn't matter how good the quality of your makeup is, you know, you have to have really good, like, 
a really good skin, like really good skincare to be like the best found, like let's say foundation for all of your makeup. Not actually makeup foundation, but to be like a skin foundation. You get what I mean, right? Um, so they say that, you know, skincare is where it's at and it's true, but I'm typically very lazy when it comes to skincare. So I have been masking it up like crazy, like two and three times a week. And um, I've also been using rosehip oil, which that thing is supposed to be like a game changer. And so I'm still in the process of using it and I'm, I'm definitely gonna follow up, I believe, and do a video on it. Um, but anyway, all that being said, like I am actually noticing a difference in my pores actually shrinking and kind of being just kind of cleaned out, which is kind of gross to think about because that means they were full before of what I'm not really sure. Okay, no, I don't really want to think about that. But you know, like, like paying attention to um, like doing facials and to like kind of your skin, like I'm always moisturizing my skin, but I don't think I ever really focused on really trying to clean it out. And so um, yeah, I've been doing like a ton of masks and a lot of clay and kind of charcoal masks because those are really good for your pores. And then I'm making sure to also do some hydration masks because um, the weather's so dry and windy and cold right now. So wow, my bathroom today was a hotbed of inspiration for discussion and really all I wanted to do was show you a couple of things that I got from Kohl's. Hi Fred, what's going on? Let me tell you about Fred today. Fred knows that he's in trouble because Fred did not ask to go outside and use the bathroom like he was supposed to. Instead, Fred pissed on my carpet. And so that's one of the things I'm going to have to be doing right now. And yes, Fred, we're talking about you. We're talking about how you are a bad boy who went pee pee in the house. Now, honestly, um, where I lived before we had, okay, Fred, you're, you're overwhelming me right now. <laughs> Ah, and does it mean? Look what Bella's playing with. Bella has like a golden retriever dog that looks kind of just like her. And we found it at Ikea. And I have to tell you, sometimes we almost kick Bella. Like when we go to move the dog out of the way, sometimes we almost get Bella. Look at this dog. This dog looks, I think I've even posted on Instagram how Bella and the dog look pretty similar to each other. That's the dog. And then there goes Bella, right? One of these days we're going to wind up, yep, see, here we go, Bella, dog, Bella, <laughs> dog, and then other dog, Fred, what's going on, what's going on, buddy, yeah, Fred's waiting for a cookie, because Fred knows that every time he pees, he gets a cookie, but Fred does not get a cookie when Fred pees on the carpet. What I was saying before was in my old place, we, where I used to live in Washington, we didn't have any carpet and um, it was okay then, you know, when the dogs, when Fred would have an accident. P.S. Fred's going to be 15 at the end of this month, so I don't know if he just got tired or didn't want to ask me to go out. You know, it's, it's really hard to be mad at him, although on the spot at that minute, I was super duper mad. I was like, really, Fred? Really? You know you're supposed to pee outside. Anyway. So now when we bought this house, it has carpet and the carpet was kind of new and we didn't have time to switch it out. At some point, I bet we take the carpet out, which by the way, is actually pervasive. It's like more than half of the house and my house is about, I don't know, 2000 square feet or something. So it would be pretty expensive too, to kind of rip it out and then replace it. Although I could rip it out. I've ripped carpet out before when I've done remodels. I've remodeled three homes, three, two two homes now. So um, I could rip it out, but oh, that's a lot of work right now and I'm not looking forward to that at all. But at some point we will replace the carpet. Um, so that way it really doesn't matter. But honestly, I, I don't know. I have dogs and sometimes dogs pee on the carpet. And that's why I've got carpet cleaner and I've got a little carpet suction, like a portable like carpet rug cleaner kind of thing. And that's pretty much what you do and you really can't get mad um, because he's an old guy. He's old. Sometimes old people piss their pants or non-pants. Although Fred, I have to tell you, loves wearing pants. Hey, so the other thing you might have noticed in my background when I was uh, talking about the dogs um, is my trampoline. This is like a miniature tiny trampoline. Doesn't have a very large footprint at all, but honestly is a lifesaver like when you can't go out to 
you know, walk around or even just walk because there's either snow or it's like pouring rain or something, you will see me bopping on my trampoline. And actually, I think personally, it's a way better workout than, um, than a, uh, than an actual walk is when you go outside because you have to, you have to balance and you work your core and you work your kind of your hip flexors and your hip muscles and your butt muscles. Um, and if you're unstable or maybe a little bit older, the trampoline itself comes with uh, like a handle that looks like a rainbow, let's say, like in front of the, the trampoline so that you can hold on while you're tramping. Do you tramp on a trampoline? I have no idea. But anyway, you've got something that you can hold on to so that um, so that it's safe, so that you don't wind up falling off and breaking a hip, which would preclude the entire goal of trying to be more active during the day. Um, but anyway, you can get them for like a hundred bucks. I got mine on Amazon and, um, I even convinced my mom to get one, um, because it's just, it's a different kind of walking thing. So if you can't go out to walk, although walking outside is beautiful, but if you've got some shows on your DVR that you want to watch and you don't feel like going out, you can bippity bop on your trampoline and uh, get an amazing workout at the same time. The other thing that I have to do today is I totally have to clean my brushes. My brushes are a disaster. Not only because I've acquired like a whole bunch of them that I really wasn't meaning on having easy access. Now I can barely even find the brushes that I'm looking for, but my brushes are just, they're so dirty. I was inclined to even, um, film like a tutorial today and I'm like, I cannot put any of these brushes on camera. So I put up that video in the past about how I clean my brushes with Cinema Secrets. Um, and apparently I don't practice what I preach. I'm such a hypocrite because they're like major dirt. Like half of those that aren't black are supposed to be like practically white and they all look beige and that's, that's bad. That is super bad. I have to clean them today, but it always gets like, what is that? Thrown off the burner? Kicked off the burner? Uh, like, I always like wind up finding more important things to do. And so, going along with my whole trying to be in honor of like skincare and whatever, um, obviously clean brushes are super duper important for that too. So, um, don't do as I do, just do as I say and clean your brushes all the time. So, things are happening. I've cleaned up the piss off the carpet and I started cleaning some of my brushes, but I actually <laughs> Got through so many brushes that I ran out of room on my towel to allow them to dry. So I figured I'd let some of them dry just a little bit. And then I'll go back to that. And I can smell my crock pots doing pretty well. So I'm excited about that. Um, the only other thing I wanted to show you was that I got this really cool um, hat the other day from Target. It was like 20 bucks. And I have a I have a winter one that's pretty similar, um, but it's much smaller. Like the brim itself is just like much smaller. And so this one's a little bit thinner and isn't made of such wintry material, but I kind of fell in love with it for spring, like for when it rains and stuff. Um, I'm not quite sure what to do <laughs> with the sides. Um, I don't know, does this wind up coming down? Now I look like a pirate, I've only got one eye. But um, I'm definitely going to play with this hat, but it was like 20 bucks. And um, I don't know. Am I like a woman of hats? Are you a woman of hats or a man of hats? Do you want to be a man of hats? I think we should all be man of hats or women of hats. I think hats are pretty awesome. Hats also cover up a bad hair day or um, need to wash your hair day and didn't wash your hair day, hat day. Anyway, I'm prepared for the rain come spring, and they might even sneak in wearing this um, a little bit before the weather warms up. But I don't know. What do you think? I think it's a pretty cool hat. For 20 bucks? Hello? It's better than that plastic, like, rain cap that you can put on your head, which looks like a glorified plastic bag. I just threw old ladies around America right under the bus with that mocking of their rain hats when they're really just trying to keep their blowouts and their hair tees in good condition. Um, okay, that's mean. I have to stop picking on the old ladies. Okay, anyway, back to the hat. Cute hat, yes? Um, I don't know. But anyway, it's at Target right now, and I think it also came, I think it also came in gray. Anyway, so I'm gonna wrap up today's vlog. I've got some filming that I'm gonna go do, and um, thanks again for spending this time with me. I hope you have a really good rest of the day, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks.